Hey guys, um, me and Chris, he's with me, he is driving. We are now on our way to the hospital. We've both got appointments today. Um, I have got my appointment to have my heart monitor fitted for 24 hours. So I have brought you guys along for the ride to see how I get on and what it is like for what the experience is like. Um, but also poor Chris, bless him, he's here. He has got to have an operation in a couple of weeks time. And so he has got his pre-op assessment today. So we've got to see um, basically what it involves and how long he's gonna be laid up for. Um, so yeah, we've got two appointments in one day today. So yeah, we're gonna see how things go and bring you guys along for the ride. I am home. I am all connected up. Um, I don't know if you can see, I have got this little machine. It tells you the time and there's some buttons. And I think there's a little voice recorder thing here as well. But all I know is I'm not supposed to really touch that part. Um, and then if you then see on the other side, I have got one electrode thing here and then I've got another two ah. I've got wires everywhere but yeah I've got another two either side of my tummy so yeah I am all connected up that is me for the next 24 hours and then I have to take and drop the machine off back tomorrow morning um, and I also have if I show you oh gosh dropping it on the floor I have this diary thing that I have to fill in every time I get um, any pains any breathlessness um, and what was it any dizziness any sickness I have to fill it in um, and note the time and what activity I was doing at that time. So yeah, I have to fill that in and then pop that in with the monitor tomorrow when I drop that back in. Um, so yeah, that is me all hooked up and then the results will go off to the cardiologist. Um, my appointment is booked for the end of April, beginning of May. However, I don't know, depending on my results, if they may bring my appointment forward um, or if they will just keep me for the same day and I'll just see them when I see them and they'll give me the results then. Um, so yeah, that's me all connected now and I'll let you guys know how I get on through the night. I'm off to a friend's in a bit, um, a friend who I haven't seen in a while. We're going to have takeaway food and catch up on actually she's asked me to help her with her plan her florida holiday and give her some help so i'm gonna help her out and yeah so i'll see how i get on sleeping with all these wires and let you guys know in the morning unfortunately i wasn't able to film the next day after i'd had the heart monitor on um i really wasn't feeling too good um my heart rate since then has been going crazy um just getting dressed that morning it went to 185 beats per minute which is mad um and then that evening it went to 215 beats per minute well that's what my apple watch said um i know they're not always 100 percent accurate but that's still it wouldn't say it on that if it wasn't quite you know close to it but um yeah anyway how i got on sleeping with the machine on it wasn't too bad i usually sleep on my right side so having the little heart monitor thing strapped to my bra for the night um on the left side wasn't too bad although if i then wanted to turn over in the night was uncomfortable so um yeah that part wasn't too great but so i did get a bit of a disturbed night's sleep 
Um, but I survived. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. And I handed it back the next day. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to get the results. Um, my appointment, like I said before, is in end of April, beginning of May. So I don't know if when the cardiologist sees my results, if they're going to bring my appointment forward. However, I have got my Tysabri infusion this week. Uh, actually, I've got it in two days time. So yesterday I called the neurology nurses to find out what to do because I am still getting chest pains from which I believe is from the costochondritis. I am still getting an elevated heart rate every time I do something. So if I brush stand and brush my teeth, if I put my makeup on, my heart rate goes to 150 odd beats per minute. So that is leaving me very worried as to whether or not I should have my Tysabri on Thursday or if the neurologist should speak to the cardiologist because in my eyes that would be the most sensible thing to do um, yeah because I am worried because I do want my Tysabri because I am worried what how long can you go without a Tysabri infusion before MS might start kicking in and I might potentially relapse but then again I don't want to have it and then potentially have the same reaction like I had last time but then some of you guys also said to me was it not potentially what is wrong with me was it potentially a bad batch of Tysabri so that is another question I have for the neurology nurses and the neurologist if that was reported about if that was a bad batch of Tysabri or not um, and if that's been investigated so yeah at the minute I am stuck not knowing what's going to happen in the next week coming up if I'm going to have my infusion or not um, I am a little anxious about it trying not to worry because I know worry brings on stress and that's not good for MS MS wise I'm not great my memory's not great, my bladder's not great, my pain's not great, although it's manageable, it's not great. Um, legs, not too bad, but then they're a little slower than normal. Um, other than that, it's not too bad on the MS front, it's just this whole chest pain, heart, heart, high heart rate that is more worrying me at the minute. So yeah, and we, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. Anyway, hope you guys have all had a good week. Um, let me know how you got, got on and comment down below. Um, as I do love hearing from you all, because it does keep me going and it does keep me smiling. You guys have been absolutely brilliant in supporting me and keeping me smiling. Um, but yeah, that's me for this week. I will keep you updated, let you know next week how I got get on got on how how everything goes with my toy sabri and if i've have or haven't been allowed it so yeah that's everything from me disney mummy with a mess and i will see you guys all again next week bye